Hey, how are you? Good. I'm Dr. Cavallo. Here at Northern Kentucky Pediatrics, only one way to describe how things have been going this flu season, busy. I think it's common knowledge amongst, you know, the, the per parental community here that the, f the flu is widespread this year. Wesley Dieters is the mother of three young boys. She had her four-year-old son, Will, checked out today. We're even getting uh, no notifications from our school saying that the school the flu is rampant. Keep your kids home if you have any inkling that uh, that they're feverish or show any, showing any signs of the flu. Um, I think people feel kind of lousy and, and you can tell just sometimes looking at their face and their eyes. That is just how 18 year old Jillian Skay has been feeling. Well I just woke up with a runny nose. Um, my body just felt kind of like drained. Didn't sleep very well last night. Cold. She came into the doctor's okay. office today to get checked out even yeah. though she already Probably got a vaccine yeah. shot. The nose swab will help determine if she wow. has the flu. If you got your flu vaccine but you still got the flu, what we think we are seeing from that is it's not as bad as if you hadn't gotten the flu shot at all. The CDC says all states except Hawaii are reporting widespread flu activity. 20 pediatric deaths linked to the flu, and it's never too late to get the vaccine. No, in fact, the CDC talks about continuing to give it even into April, like through the season. And the reason there is um, often, at least in this area, we see a first wave of flu A and then we see a second wave of flu B. Well, here's another myth buster. People think that if you get the vaccine, it actually causes the flu. Well, the doctors say that's absolutely wrong. They say it takes a period of about uh, two weeks for you to uh, be protected once you get the uh, vaccine. And you know what, if you get the flu, it's just a coincidence. A couple other tips, they say good hygiene, washing your hands, you know, covering your mouth when you cough. Those are just basic things along with diet and rest, and you should be able to protect yourself and others around you. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.